Good evening, and welcome to the live virtual broadcast of Boonesboro High School's 2020 annual Senior Award Ceremony. My name is Justin Bright, one of the assistant principals at Boonesboro High School, and I am honored to be your host for the night. Tonight, we conclude our virtual celebrations with the honoring of students in the class of 2020 for their remarkable academic achievements and leadership. These students have worked exceptionally hard throughout their high school careers, and it is a privilege to welcome everyone here tonight as we recognize each one of them. However, we'd be remiss if we didn't recognize all of those that helped our students get to this point. So tonight, we want to start by first thanking our parents, educators, coaches, mentors, community leaders, and so many others that have guided or supported these students in their journey. Speaking of journey, what a journey it has been. You know, they say every generation has a major historical event that both defines them and shapes their perspectives. This senior class has two. These students were born in the midst of the 9-11 tragedy and have now concluded their high school career in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. I have no doubt that the challenges our students have faced have made them more intelligent, more resilient, and better prepared for the future they are about to face. It has been an honor to work with each of them, and I am proud to recognize them tonight. So tonight we recognize their academic achievements. At this time, I would like to welcome Ms. Ashley Vasek to present the, the awards for We the People. Good evening. In a lot of ways, this year of BHS We the People has marked the end of an era. It marked 10 years of my coaching the team. This year, several BHS families watched their youngest child go through the program after watching one or even two children uh, do so before them. And this year, the plans for the national competition changed for the first time in 33 years. We could look back on this year of We the People and focus on everything that never occurred. We didn't get to spend our long weekend at the national competition. We didn't get to dress up from top to bottom and wow judges for two amazing and exciting rounds of competition before having a late night pizza party. And we didn't get to celebrate an exciting end of the year together hugging. But in true warrior fashion, these students rose above it all. When asked if they wanted to compete in a virtual competition, the students resoundingly said, absolutely, we have to. This team is officially the most accomplished team in BHS We The People history. They competed at three levels of competition this year. At the state competition in January, for the first time ever, they swept all six categories. Then when COVID hit, they committed to practicing every single day on Zoom to prepare for the first ever virtual competition. On competition day, they dressed to impress, at least from the waist up, because that's all the camera could see. They wowed the judges via Zoom from 20 different locations across South County. And then the culmination of their hard work was so very rewarded when we learned that the team finished 16th in the country by far our greatest achievement ever. I am so incredibly proud of these students this year, and I have no doubt that the future is looking brighter with these constitutional experts out in the world. Before I turn the recognition over to these two ladies, I want to recognize them myself. I'd like to recognize Claire Dever and Sarah Roll. These two ladies have literally kept me sane this year. They are my twin pillars of strength. Claire is affectionately known as the hacker because she can edit spe speeches with the speed and precision of a machine. Sarah is, in every recommendation letter I wrote for her, the fiercest girl I know. She pushed the students to explain their opinions, to have evidence, and to make sure that their constitutional and court case knowledge was ready to go. These ladies were invaluable to me during quarantine and helped me run simultaneous Zoom practices in order to maximize our time every single day. I am forever grateful for their assistance and dedication to this team, both last year as competitors and this year as more than capable student coaches. I will now allow them to introduce the rest of the senior team members. Ladies. Ladies. 
Lena L. Mohandas. Matthew Green. Jack Jacobcheck. And Lauren Kaufman. Caleb Lang. And Abigail Olson. And Andrew Scalise. Thank you, Claire and Sarah. Congratulations to all members of the 2019-2020 We the People team, the winningest team in Boonesboro We the People history. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Vasek, Clara, and Sarah. I would now like to in introduce Ms. Katie England, Content Specialist of High School Mathematics for Washington County, who will be presenting the Excellence in Mathematics Award from the National Council of Supervisors of Mathematics. Thank you. If you run a Google Images search on the term mathematics and you see many equations, those from simple math arithmetic like three plus four equals seven to those needing calculus and beyond. But you also see images of graphs, symbols, rulers, calculators, and other tools, images of circles, triangles, pyramids, and other shapes, images of the mind, of nature, and of space. Mathematics is more than just numbers and equations. It's the beauty of the world around us. As you continue to walk through life, be sure to notice the patterns around you and wonder how they relate to mathematics. How does that flower make that shape? How many branches are on that tree? Why are the hills formed the way they are? Always remember that everyone is a mathematics person. The more we work at it and the more we make mistakes, the more our brains adapt and the deeper we understand mathematical concepts. This year, there have been two students who have stood out to their mathematics achievement. The Excellence in Mathematics Award was established by the National Council of Supervisors of Mathematics an organization representing leadership in mathematics education. The purpose of this award is to recognize those students who have shown leadership in the area of mathematics and distinguished mathematics achievement. This year, the award goes to two Boonesboro High School seniors, Christopher Lee and Liana L. Mohanas. Congratulations, Christopher and Lena for your outstanding accomplishment. And thank you, Ms. England, for joining us this evening. And now I'd like to welcome Ms. Michelle Hoprich, who will be presenting the Student Government Awards. Good evening. The Student Government Association is open by application to all students. Members work together to serve the students, staff, and community. Some of our projects this year included two blood drives, sending holiday cards to soldiers, a toy collection for Children's Hospital, and our homecoming week activities, including Spirit Week, our Color Wars pep rally, and of course, the dance. This year, our SGA was led by President Cecilia Telmeco and Vice President Brianna Holder. These ladies were students at STEM Middle College program at HCC, yet worked tirelessly to lead our SGA. I want to thank them and all of our seniors for the leadership that they provided throughout the year. At this point, I'm going to turn it over to Cece and Bree to introduce the rest of our seniors. Viviana Torres. Daxon Knight. Brianna Cook. Mark Rushauer. Abigail Harsh. Lauren Kaufman. Casey McGrath. Olivia Stevens. Tyler Cornell. Alexandra Gibson. Tyler Higgins. Abba Mitchell. Evelyn McTeague. Anisha Kasori. Claire Dever. Logan Glosser. Hannah Donolfi. Madeline Goldstein. Ethan Holobanko. Ella Mannix. Sarah Roll. Peyton Westcott. Thank you, ladies, for your leadership. 
Next, on behalf of Ms. Kelly Knight, who is unavailable to join us tonight, I would like to recognize the senior members of the National Honor Society. The purpose of the Boonesboro chapter of the National Honor Society is to create an enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to promote worthy leadership, and to encourage the development of character in students of Boonesboro High School. In order to be a member of the National Honor Society, students must be in their junior or senior year, have maintained a GPA of at least 3.8 or higher, and have completed 75 student service learning hours. Students then complete an application process, including a review from a panel of teachers that accept the applications based on pillars of character, leadership, and academic integrity. Here to present the members of the National Honor Society are President Anisha Kasori and Vice President Tracy Kinzer. Anisha and Tracy. Rebecca Bauer and Claire Dever, Hannah Dinolfi and Lena El Mohandez, Mark Freshour and Faith Garachi, Logan Glosser and Adrian Grove, Madeline Goldstein and Abigail Harsh, Josephine Hardings and Addison Hallbaker, Brianna Holder and Ethan Halabingo, Lauren Kaufman and Carly Kidwell, Saxon Knight and Christopher Lee. Ella Mannix and Adam Metz, Alex Myers and Jamie Nelson, Sarah Roll and Andrew Scalise, Olivia Stevens and Hayden Summers, Raina Tam and Leslie Taylor, Cecilia, Cecilia Telmico and Silvana Tipson, Viviana Torres and Bethany Von Phil, Owen Walsh and Peyton Westcott. Thank you to Tracy, Tracy and Anisha. At this time, I would like to welcome Ms. Judy Spence, who is the advisor for the English National Honor Society. Thank you. The National English Honor Society chapter of Boonesboro High School, the Bona Fides, is a society dedicated to helping students with all of their writing and literary needs. This society, which by the way, was just created last year for the first time ever at Boonesboro High School is made up of Boonesboro High's finest junior and senior English students who have achieved a grade of A or higher in all of their English classes. In the past year, our society has another first. We have been working to develop the school's first ever writing center. It has been very successful this past year, and we plan on continuing to expand our organization so that all students have access to what we feel is the world's finest education. I would like to honor our senior members. Um, first of all, Bree Holder, our president, and CC Tomiko, our vice president and ask them also to introduce the other senior members of NEHS. Abigail Harsh. Ashley Grove. And Lauren Kaufman. Thank you, Cece and Brianna. And thank you, Ms. Spence. And congratulations on all your firsts for this year's National English Honor Society. Next, please welcome Ms. Alex Bartleton and Mr. Chris Barron to recognize the senior members of Rho Kappa, the National Social Studies Honor Society. Good evening. Rho Kappa is the National Social Studies Honor Society, which is chartered by the National Council of the Social Studies. 
Rho Kappa is only available to eligible juniors and seniors who have not only taken their social studies classes at the highest levels, but have also maintained a 3.5 GPA in those social studies classes, as well as a 3.0 overall. So these students are, are our Boonesboro most dedicated social studies students. They also have to achieve a letter of recommendation from current faculty, in addition to writing an essay that explains to Mr. Barron and I what membership in Rho Kappa would mean to them in order to gain acceptance into our society. Our seniors participated in a variety of historical volunteer opportunities. On multiple occasions, they volunteered their time in Antietam National Battlefield and Washington Monument State Park. They helped raise $1,600 for the Boonesboro Town Museum. This particular group of seniors was also instrumental in starting Rho Kappa's Veteran History Project, as well as completing numerous individual projects. While COVID-19 prevented them from doing more, they proved they value our history. Thank you, Rho Kappa seniors. I'd now like to introduce our co-presidents, Claire Deaver and Josie Hardings, who will introduce our other seniors. First is Dallas Fields as our vice president and Viviana Torres as treasurer. Next is Sarah Vol, who is our secretary and historian. Ethan Holobinko and Peyton Westcott. Addison Hallbaker and Sarah Leggett. Lena Almahandas and Madeline Goldstein. Evelyn McTeague and Faith Garachi. Olivia Stevens and Tyler Higgins. Zachariah Sorob and Noah Yeager. Alex Myers and Anisha Kasori. Rebecca Bauer and Owen Walsh. Lauren Kaufman and Adrian Grove. Brianna Holder and Zachary Hubbard. Cecilia Telmico and Alexandra Gibson. Jacob Arnold and Abigail Harsh. Thank you, ladies. And one more point to add that our Rho Kappa students, despite COVID-19, were actually able to continue some of their efforts in our oral history project. So thank you so much for presenting this evening and thank you for your commitment to preserving social studies in our local community. Thank you, Ms. Bartleton. And thank you to Josie and Claire. And congratulations to all the members of Rho Kappa for your accomplishments this year. Next, I'd like to introduce Ms. Renee Fisher to present the Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society Awards. The Boonesboro High School chapter of Mu Alpha Theta consists of students who not only excel in their mathematics classes, but also participate in enrichment opportunities, middle school outreach, and represent BHS as they compete in national mathematics competitions. We would like to honor our seniors this year. Christopher Lee, co-president. Anisha Kasuri, co-president. And Mark Freshour. Thank you, Ms. Fisher. At this time, I would like to welcome Ms. Courtney Greening to present the French Honors Soci French Honors Society Awards. Hi everybody, bonjour. The National French Honors Society under the auspices of the American Association of Teachers of uh, French seeks to recognize student excellence in French. Membership is based on uh, achievement in French and overall GPA. The student must be enrolled in French three or higher and have a 3.25 overall GPA, as well as have an A average in French class. Um, I would like to now recognize Leslie Taylor, one of our co-presidents this year. Um, she has been active in the society for the past two years. Leslie has not only shown excellent uh, progress in French, she is a joy to be around and I will miss her dear dearly. Leslie? Thank you. Um, I'd like to introduce and congratulate our other two uh, senior 
French Honor Society members, Megan Sobleski and Chelsea Tay. Félicitations, mes amis. Thank you, Leslie. That was awesome. Next, I'm going to welcome Ms. Christine Davidson to present the Japanese Honor Society Award. Good evening. The National Japanese National Honor Society is a pre-college chapter that supports and encourages scholastic achievement and excellence in Japanese language and promotion of Japanese culture by working with teachers and administrators throughout our community. Chloe King is our senior who has been involved in promoting Japanese culture throughout the Boonesboro community and beyond. Chloe has spent countless hours volunteering with her fellow JNHS members, um, but above all that, she has excelled in Japanese and has successfully completed Japanese one, two, three, and four. Chloe has been our chapter president this past year, and she has also been a peer tutor for Kohai, or our younger students in Japanese. Chloe has maintained a 3.5 GPA in Japanese classes and an overall GPA of a 3.0. Congratulations, Chloe. Kore kara ganbatte kudasai. Congratulations, Chloe. I can't follow that from Ms. Davidson, but congratulations and thank you, Ms. Davidson. Next, I would like to welcome Ms. Aubrey Swisher to present the Spanish National Honor Society Awards. Buenas tardes. I recognize this next group of students with so much pride. Not only are they gifted with knowledge, but each of these guerreros or warriors are filled with curiosity and compassion. These students were originally inducted into the Boonesboro chapter of the Spanish National Honor Society for maintaining a 3.75 GPA in all of their Spanish classes through level four. They have all continued their studies to complete Honor Spanish four, and many have completed AP Spanish. Members engaged in cultural activities as well as service in order to embrace and celebrate diversity, break stereotypes, and instill communication skills that can lead to international partnerships, business, and peace. Together, they help to support over 500 artisans in Guatemala and Nicaragua, sponsored a young teen in Mexico to pay for two full years of his education, purchased a goat for another Mexican family at Christmas time, and raised $1,000 in donation to the water project. It has been a pleasure to lead with our officers and to see how a little bit of love a lot of laughter and some breakfast treats or chips and salsa can bring people together. Our incredible president, Saxon Knight, and amazing secretary, Claire Dever, will now present this exemplar group of students. Andrew Scalise and Anisha Kasuri, Blake Morrow and Claire Dever, Christopher Lee and Ethan Holobingo, Lauren Kaufman and Madeline Goldstein. Madison Griffith and Peyton Westcott, Sarah Leggett and Saxon Knight, Silvana Tipton and Stacia Galligley, and Zachary Hubbard. Thank you, Claire, Saxon, and Ms. Swisher. Next, I would like to welcome Ms. Paula Moore, Supervisor of World Language and ESOL, English for Speakers of Other Languages for Washington County Public Schools to present the certificates to students that received the Seal of Biliteracy Award. Bonsoir, buenas tardes, good evening. On behalf of Washington County Public Schools, and the Board of Education, congratulations on earning the Maryland Seal of Biliteracy. By learning another language, you better understand other people and other cultures, which promote empathy and respect for all. 
COVID-19 has shown us just how globally interconnected and interdependent the world is. Your language and cultural knowledge are needed now more than ever for our diverse and global society. The Maryland Seal of Biliteracy is an award from the Maryland State Board of Education that recognizes a student's high level of proficiency in listening, speaking, reading, and writing in English and one or more languages. To receive a Maryland Seal of Biliteracy, a student must one, pass the Maryland High School Assessment in English 10, and two, demonstrate intermediate high proficiency in listening, speaking, reading, and writing in a language other than English as measured by STAMP or a four or five on the AP exam. Congratulations to these following students and I wish you unlimited success in your future as you make your mark on the world. Claire Dever, Lena Elmahandes, John Jakubczyk, Lauren Kaufman, Saxon Knight, and Anisha Kasuri, Shakina Kurapati, and Christopher Lee, Marjorie Ramos Sierra, and Zachariah Sorab, Olivia Stevens, and Silvana Tipson, and Karen. Via Real. Congratulations. Congratulations to student, students for your outstanding achievement. And thank you, Ms. Moore, for joining us this evening. Next, it is my honor to introduce Dr. Kahanek, principal of Boonesboro High School, who will be presenting the Principal's Leadership Awards. Good evening, everyone or should I say bon, bonjour, konnichiwa, or hola, after following all of our great world language teachers. It's a privilege tonight to be here to recognize the Principal Leadership Awards. These awards are elicited or determined by a culmination of many staff. We send out some communications and we all work together to see which students represent these pillars of character at the highest level. Tonight, I'm honored to recognize students for trustworthiness, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. Each of these students will receive a plaque when they pick up their diplomas as well. So let's go ahead and honor them. The first one is trustworthy. Kayla Offenbrink. Kayla is truly an exceptional student, athlete, and individual. She's kind, genuine, and she's so dedicated and committed to everything she does. Whether she is on the track, discussing politics with a classmate, or interacting with her peers, and her teachers with the utmost respect. She's the very definition of success. And what makes her even more special is that she is able to build up those around her. Her positivity and commitment are contagious. Another staff member shared that Kayla is going to be really successful individually in both college and a career. Her ability to acquire knowledge and information is unique and her athletic fortitude will allow her to be driven to success. Her innate, Self-motivation is a quality I wish we could bottle up and give out to other students. She's a student that you wouldn't want, that you would want to model all students after. She's methodical in her work habits and very germane in her discussions. We can't wait to see what she does next. Congratulations, Kayla. For the character ward of responsibility, Peyton Westcott. Peyton has an infectious personality that can easily fill an entire room. He's incredibly dedicated both as a student and athlete. He maintains a full, full course load, plays sports, and still manages to find time to offer his time and talents to others. He is a role model both on and off the court and is a natural leader. He seems to always be in good mood and his positivity is contagious. Another staff member states, Peyton was a role model in the classroom. He continually strives to understand important concepts in psychology and sociology. I always told him after he left for golf, if he were to get a hole in one, I'd give him an A in class. One day he came back in all seriousness and told me he got one. He and his friends put him through the racket and eventually he came clean that he never did get that hole in one. But in our mind, he's a whole, he gets a hole in one every day. As a basketball player, he was so excited that the team had been more successful this past than the past years. 
there's actual enthusiasm to practice and play because of the success they were having. And he brought that to the team. Congratulations, Peyton. For the award of fairness, Ryan Bell. One teacher states, he is the most kind student I have ever taught. Another one states, Ryan is the brightest ray of sunshine in the whole world. He is so polite, respectful, and honest. His corny jokes were the highlight of my day. And more importantly, he always let me practice my corny jokes on him. And he would always humor me by laughing, even when no one else did. It's no surprise that Ryan is being honored with this award, because if you've ever had the pleasure of meeting or talking to his mother, you know why he is so awesome. Ryan is one of the most, one of those students that you will never forget, and he is truly an embodiment, an embodiment of what it means to be a warrior. The next award, Caring. Congratulations to Carly Kidwell. Carly is quite is quiet, self-confident, who has the ability to achieve whatever she wants. She's always first to class and engaged in conversation with me well before others even showed up. She was successful in track and field as a shot putter. Carly's biggest asset is her motivation to accept all people. Through her work with Best Buddies and Unified Bocce, she promotes the warrior way by showing acceptance of others with differences. Another states, caring is the perfect word to describe Carly. Whether it be helping out a classmate who was struggling with their floral project or staying after class to make sure everything was cleaned up beyond my satisfaction, she's always willing to go the extra mile to help everyone around her. Carly has the biggest heart and the kindest soul. Her ability to connect with others truly makes her one of a kind. Congratulations, Carly. The next award is for citizenship. And it goes to Adrian Grove who has an excess of over 500 hours of student, student service learning hours. Adrian is one of the most kind and caring individuals I've ever met. She's one of those students that shies away from the spotlight, but she shines equally, if not more than those that prefer to stand out in front of it. She has a quiet confidence about her that propels her to success in all that she does. She genuinely cares about others and she would literally do anything for anyone. It's a very apparent that just after five minutes of conversation with Adrian, that she wants to change the world and make it a better place. She always puts others ahead of herself and that special brand of thoughtfulness and kindness are a rarity in this world. Another person writes, Adrian is a stealth bomber. <laughs> She's quiet and takes in all of the information. And then when she is ready, she unleashes. Her per personality is her strength. The quiet, self-confident young lady always greets you with a hello and a smile. She remains quiet most of the time, but then offers a one-liner that makes perfect sense and erupts a room in laughter. Her integrity and emotions are kept well intact. All of these qualities allow Adrian to be a leader within Boonesboro High School. To our five recipients, I wanna thank you and congratulate you for the daily contributions you've had. And I wanna say that when we set this out to staff, we had so much feedback that it was just unbelievable. You have truly impacted more than just the students around you but also the adults continue to be that bright light in the dark sky. Thank you. Congratulations, Kayla, Peyton, Ryan, Carly, and Adrian. And thank you for the legacy that you leave here at Boonesboro High School. Next, here to present the Scholastic Achievement Tests or SAT awards is Boonesboro High School counselor, Ms. Mindy Welty. Thank you, Justin. I'm honored to recognize the following students. The first one is the bronze award, which is given to the students who have earned a combined SAT score of a 1300 to a 1399. Those students being recognized are Blake Morrow, Caleb Lang, Ella Mannix, Josephine Hardings, John Jacobcheck, Hannah Hargraves, Lauren Kaufman and Cecilia Tomlico. Congratulations. The next award is the Silver Award, which is given to students who have earned a combined SAT score of a 1400 to a 1499. Those students being awarded tonight or recognized tonight are Claire Dever, Owen Walsh, Brianna Holder, Saxon Knight, Tracy Kinzer, 
Shakina for Patty. And the last award for the SATs is the Gold Award. This award is given to students who have earned a combined SAT score of a 1500 or higher. The following students are Mark Frushauer, Andrew Scalise, Lena Almohandez, Anisha Kasori, Olivia Stevens, and Christopher Lee. Again, congratulations to those students. Well done to all students that earned those awards and thank you Ms. Welty for presenting that. Here to present students that have earned honor cords is Boonesboro High School Counselor, Ms. Danielle McDonald. Good evening, thank you. I'm honored to recognize the following students. The following students will receive honors cords for their outstanding academic accomplishments and holding a GPA of a 3.50 to a 3.74. Zachary Hubbard, Colin Bear, Amanda McClure, Ashley Getz, Kayla Oftenbrink, Adrian Grove, Stacia Golligly, Jacob Ridenauer, Helen Lettingham, Aaron Martin, Kiara Laughlin, Megan Subleski, Michael Suter, Blake Morrow, Tyler Higgins, Caleb Lang, Madison Barrett, Madison Griffith, Robert DeSantos, Dallas Fields. Kaylin Steidinger, Jacob Arnold. Chloe King, Evelyn McTeague. Jacob Dinolfi. The following students receiving high honors hold a GPA of 3.75 to 3.99. They have also completed a minimum of 12 credits identified as honors or and or advanced placement courses. Jamie Nelson, Alex Myers. Raina Tam, Hannah Dinolfi. Abigail Harsh, Logan Glauser. Alexi Chestnutwood, Carly Kidwell. Hayden Summers, Brandon Fink, Peyton Westcott, Zachary Taylor, Viviana Torres, Addison Hallbaker, Sarah Roll, Noah Yeager, Rebecca Bauer, Shakina Kurpati, and Brianne Miles. The students graduating with highest honors hold a GPA of at least a 4.0. They have also completed a minimum of 14 credits identified as honors and or advanced placement courses. Christopher Lee, Olivia Stevens. Anisha Kasori, Lena Almohandez. Lauren Kaufman, Mark Frushauer. Brianna Holder, Tracy Kinzer. Owen Walsh, Andrew Scalise. Cecilia Telmico, Adam Metz. Ella Mannix, Josephine Hardings. Saxon Knight, John Jacobchek. Bethany Von Philp, Ethan Holbinko. Silvana Tipson, Hannah Hargraves. Leslie Taylor, Faith Garachi.
And it was my fault. We skipped ahead a slide. And so we also want to recognize Claire Dever and Madeline Goldstein that had also received highest honors awards. Congratulations to all that had received honors cords. And thank you, Ms. McDonald, for presenting that. It is now my honor to recognize students that have earned the Merit Scholarship Award. The Merit Scholarship Award is given to students who are in the top 5% of their senior class. This year's recipients are Andrew Scalise, Owen Walsh, Tracy Kinzer, Brianna Holder, Mark Frushauer, Lauren Kaufman, Lena El Mohandez, Anisha Kasori, Olivia Stevens, and Christopher Lee. Congratulations to these students. And finally, as we conclude, we would like to present our salutatorians and valedictorian for the class of 2020. We are honored this year to have two incredible students to share the honor of co-salutatorian and one student as our valedictorian that is the embodiment of what it means to be a warrior. Here to announce these students, our senior class president, Lena El Mohandez, and senior class vice president, Lauren Kaufman. The class of 2020 is extra special this year as we have two salutatorians. The first salutatorian is Anisha Kasuri. Anisha excels in both the classroom and in her commendable service efforts. She takes part in numerous school-based organizations, including Spanish Honor Society, Rho Kappa, Student Government, Future Business Leaders of America, Coding Club, academic team, and physics Olympics. She's also a natural leader as she is the president of Boonesboro National Honor Society and the co-president of the Math Honor Society. Even with so much extracurricular involvement, Anisha makes time for her studies and difficult coursework. To date, she has achieved a weighted GPA of 4.4 and received a three or better on 11 out of 15 total advanced placement courses, with the other four still to be graded. It is my honor and privilege to introduce the first salutatorian of the class of 2020, Anisha Kasuri. I will now introduce our second salutatorian, Olivia Stevens. Olivia has defied the stereotype of senioritis and makes time for classwork, homework, two high school sports, and an internship. She plays for our varsity girls soccer and tennis teams after school and serves as a member of both Rho Kappa and student government. Her impressive organization skills make her a great secretary of the senior class cabinet and secretary of Boonesboro's National Honor Society. Not only does she fulfill her positions in extracurriculars to the best of her ability, but Olivia also has earned an internship at the National Cancer Institute to study embryonic development. Her internship only allows her time to take two classes this year, both of which she selected to be AP level. Her lack of time does not hold her back academically as she has a 4.4 weighted GPA and has received a perfect score of five on six out of her eight AP tests with the other two still to be graded. It is my pleasure to introduce the second salutatorian of the class of 2020, Olivia Stevens. Finally, I will introduce our valedictorian, Christopher Lee. Chris has been a leader, scholar, athlete, volunteer, and musician for the entirety of his high school career. He has joined our varsity soccer and tennis teams, and he has volunteered with Unified Track and Tennis. His service extends to many associations around the community, including Boonesboro Elementary School, the Boonesboro Library, and his church. In school, Chris is involved with the academic team, VEX Robotics, Physics Olympics, National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, After School Orchestra, Student Government, and the Leo Club. His leadership is respected as he is the co-president of the Math Honor Society, secretary of Cool to Be Kind, co-leader of the Coding Club, and assistant editor of Boonesboro Literary and Arts Magazine. Even with all of these responsibilities, Chris makes time for his studies to maintain a 4.6 weighted GPA and has earned a perfect score of five on eight out of 13 AP courses, with the other five exams not yet graded. With great pleasure, I would like to introduce our valedictorian of the class of 2020, Christopher Lee. Thank you, Lena and Lauren, and congratulations to Anisha, Olivia, and Chris. 
That concludes our, our ceremony for tonight, but we thank you for joining us and congratulations to all of our seniors.